We look now at the process of photosynthesis, which should be familiar for all of you learners that have already reached grade 11. The equation of photosynthesis is that carbon dioxide plus water plus light with the assistance of enzymes, which will speed up the reaction and chlorophyll within the chloroplast. That's the site of photosynthesis is the chloroplast and the chlorophyll will be used to trap the light energy. We find that all of the substances on the left hand side of the equation are known as the requirements what are required for the process and on the right hand side we have glucose which is the product and oxygen which is the byproduct okay so the focus now will be on the details of the process what happens exactly to the uh, carbon dioxide the water that enters into the plant and what is the light energy also used for how does the glucose molecule form and where does this oxygen come from? The process of photosynthesis is broken up into two phases. The first one being the light dependent phase and the second being the light independent phase formerly known as the dark phase. So the light dependent as the name suggests it requires light whereas the light independent one can occur in the dark without light or it can occur when light is there also. We find that the light dependent phase occurs within the grana. The grana are made up of stacks of thylakoids and these thylakoids within the chloroplast contain the green pigment chlorophyll. We have water that will be found here within the granum and being the light phase, the radiant energy from the sun will be used one function of this energy from the sun is to split up the water molecule. The H2O gets split and the oxygen gets liberated and released into the atmosphere as the byproduct. We also find that this energy of the sun is used to make the energy carrier within cells known as ATP. So ATP molecules are created and these will be used later on in the dark phase. So from the light phase, the hydrogen is required in the dark phase. The dark phase occurs within the stroma, the background of the chloroplast. We have molecules known as coenzymes that will carry this hydrogen from the light phase to the dark phase. Then the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere also will enter into the stroma of the chloroplast and these two need to be joined together. So for the reaction of the carbon dioxide joining with the hydrogen, we require energy. The hydrogen has some energy within it and the remainder of the energy is provided by the ATP molecules. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. They provide energy. It joins the carbon dioxide and hydrogen, the C and the, C and the O coming from carbon dioxide and the hydrogen coming from the water that was split. And now we form the product of photosynthesis being glucose. And this glucose, C6H12O6, will later be stored in the form of starch, which is a polysaccharide. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you may type it into the comment section below. Thank you.